In Starry Night College, the tool we use the most to make a direct measurement on the simulated sky is the angular separation tool. So by default, your cursor is this little hand, and it changes to different adaptive things depending on how you point it at things. To get it to be the angular separation tool, you can choose it off the menu over here on the far left. It will look like a cross now when you're on the cursor. Pick the object, in this case I got the moon here, and a red line will come out. See the line goes wherever my cursor goes, I'm holding my mouse button down. If I want to measure over here to Cassiopeia A, it will give me the length of this line. The top line in this measurement is marked the angular separation. This is the measurement you're making. The line below that is information about the line. The position angle tells you what angle across the screen you're measuring. So you'll notice if I move the angle line down, it actually changes the position. So it's a angle position. In this, if you choose something that is a known distance away from the Earth, then the software can calculate the distance between the two objects. This distance in the yellow is not a measurement we're looking for in any of our labs. This is a computed value. It's not a measurement. So you want to record this measurement of the angular separation. Notice there are three numbers there in the angular separation. In this case, it's 30. 3817. That's 30 degrees, 38 minutes, 17 seconds. To make it clear that these are portions of degree, you'll often see me using the words arc minute and arc second. So this would be read as 30 degrees, 38 arc minutes, 17 arc seconds. These are portions of a degree. So there are 60 arc minutes in one degree and 60 arc seconds in one arc minute. Labs will be doing angular computations. There will be some examples of how to do the calculations. Good luck and experiment with using the angular separation.